nine persons standing trial at an Accra High Court for the collapse of Unibank Ghana Limited have been granted 60 million cities bail with three charities, with two to be justified. They are also to deposit their passports to the registrar of the court. Godfrey Tanam has the rest of the story. Defense counsel, after an initial 100 million bill, prayed the court for a review, arguing that the conditions are tantamount to a free solo bill. The court, after reviewing the bill condition, pegged it at 60 million cities, which again did not please the defense counsel, but the court refused to a second review. The accused persons pleaded not guilty to 68 charges. The state, represented by the Attorney General and Minister of Justice, Gloria Kufu, read out the facts of the case implicating the accused, among others, conspiring to commit crime, fraudulent breach of trust, and money laundering. Counsel for the first accused, Dr. Kwabana Dufo, and second accused, Hoda Holdings Limited, Dominic Ayene, told the court the charges are misconceived and lack any legal basis. He argued the predominant charges running through the facts of the matter are that of trust relationship between the depositors and the bank. He advanced his argument indicating that the relationship is not that of trusteeship but a creditor-depositor relationship and that is based on contract. He therefore stressed that it is clear no trust relationship from the fact was created between depositors and Unibank Ghana Limited. Dominica Yene further indicated the shareholder, Kobina Dufo, and directors of the Class Bank were only responsible to the bank and not to the creditors. This, he said, rather gives rise to civil remedies instead of a criminal proceeding. He concluded by praying the court to dismiss the charges, stressing that the charges are misconceived, erroneous, and lack legal basis. In arguing for a bill for their clients, counsel for the nine accused persons prayed the court to grant them bail which they could meet because none of them are flight risk and have for a year cooperated with investigators and for that matter should be granted either a self-recognizant bail or bail with lesser conditions. The Attorney General Gloria Kofu, who did not oppose the bill, however, told the court it is inaccurate for defense counsel to say all the accused cooperated with investigations. According to Herr Kwabana Dufo, John Sinesema and Kwabana Dufo Jr. did not cooperate with the investigations. She added, the state is mindful of the fact that the court has the discretion to grant or not to grant bail, arguing that in granting bail, circumstances of the case must be taken into account. She said 5.7 billion cities of depositors' funds has been misused by the accused persons through their various conduct, so she urged the court to take this into account and the state was not opposing the bill, granted that the conditions are set to commensurate the circumstances and the charge the accused persons are facing before court. The case has been adjourned to March 24. Godfrey Tanam, TV3 News, Accra.